Hello lovely people, I welcome you once again to Christ Without Borders. If this is your first time watching this channel, please click on the subscribe button, click on the like, and then also on the bell icon to be notified of any new video that the Lord needs me to share here. Now beloved, this morning I want to talk to you about getting your kingdom spouse. Getting your kingdom spouse is very important. The reason why a lot of relationships, a lot of marriages are breaking down is simply because people are getting married to people who the Lord had not even intended them to get married in the first place. Getting married to your kingdom spouse is so important because in that marriage is the Lord who is the overseer. The Lord is a marriage that God himself brings together. Getting your kingdom spouse only happens when two Christians, I said two, two Christians decide to come to God and say, God, give me a man or give me a woman after your own will. Now you understand, when you come God and Lord God, give me a man, give me a woman after your own will, it's not about you. It's not about you, it's not about what you desire, it's not about the, your kind of woman and the, the kind of things you look in a woman. Kingdom marriages are brought together for a purpose. Kingdom marriages are orchestrated and it's God himself who brings it together. God himself is the mediator of, a king, of kingdom marriages for his mission and for his purpose. It will not happen when two Christians it comes together because two people, two Christians, a woman and a man, have refused to go after, have refused to choose any man according to their own taste and preferences. But I've rather come to God in the place of prayer and I've said, Lord, give me a woman who is a help meet. The one that woman has gone to God in prayer and said, God, give me a man as a help meet. Give me a man according to your heart. Give me a man that you have designed for me and my according to me, according to my mission, according to my purpose here on earth. Now, when you come to that place, you should understand. It's all going to be about the physical things a lot of people look at and get married now. You are looking at a lot of flimsy things to get married now. Yes. We are looking at height. We are looking at complexion. We are looking at shape. We are looking at a lot of things. Hairy, how hairy she is, how hairy he is, her cows and all that stuff. God puts two Christians who have come to him in prayer and have asked that, Father, give me a woman according to your, your will for my life. And once you pray that prayer, the Lord always comes true. The Lord always comes true. You see, the Lord has taught us that your will is okay. That's what the Lord, the world has taught us. This is how the world has trained us. Your will, your desire, what you want. We must get what you want. And that's why we are always facing problems in marriage. That's why marriages are breaking in one week, in two days, in one month, in three months. In the days of our parents, they had a way that it worked. Our parents really kept long together when they got married. And even in most of them, I realize that somebody had to sacrifice their life and their will. Most of the time, it's our mothers. In the days of our mother, my mother didn't have their, their own desire and their own path. They, they sacrificed everything, supported our fathers with everything they had, just to make sure that these children become better. Today's woman is not like that. The woman of 2022 is not like that. She believes in her will, in what she wants, what she wants to get. I'm not against it. But I'm, I'm telling you, if you want a kingdom spouse, that is a kingdom husband or a kingdom wife, you should be ready to put away your desire and your interest and your taste, your preferences for a man or a woman. And if you come to the place of God on the altar of prayer and get me, it won't happen in the absence of prayer. 
the problem in the body of Christ today is there are so many lazy people entering the church today and are not being taught properly. There are so many people entering into the church and don't even understand what the what is prayer, what their purpose and what prayer. They don't they don't understand why they should be praying every day. You are not ready. Prayer is the only ways and only means you can communicate with your heavenly Father. So somebody who disciplines himself and allows himself to pray every day. Every day you are going to see the hand of God. You are going to see the will of God. You are going to see the move of God in every day in your life. We are raising so many lazy people in the body of Christ today. We are saying so many things. And People think it's the word, it's only the word. It's not true. We are ignorant. It's not only the word. It's not only prayer. It's not only fasting. No. There are people who believe in the word, but don't believe in prayer. There are people who believe in the word and prayer, but don't believe in fasting. There's a lot of things. The giving is very important. Jesus Christ here on earth gave, he fed a multitude. But there are many of us in the body of Christ, we don't want to give. Or you are very stingy. It is going to stop you. Listen, when you decide to follow Jesus Christ, please learn everything he did. Learn everything he taught us. He came here, came with the Holy Spirit, he introduced the Holy Spirit, and taught us how to operate this thing. This era of grace. He taught us so forgive others so that your sins will also be forgiven. Mm? Do not overcome evil with evil. And there are a lot of people who are, are not being taught right. You are focusing on teaching new revelations after new revelations, and the people are not getting it because even the Holy Spirit, is, they have not activated it in their lives. Why? Because they don't even believe, they don't understand that every day they have to feed the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in them. They don't know that every day they have to feed the Holy Spirit with the Word of God to what? To give it more power. This is a problem in the body of Christ. People don't want to go into their own Bible and read even one, one verse every day. They don't want to do it. You are a human being. You eat morning, afternoon, evening. The Holy Spirit in you also needs the Word of God morning, afternoon, evening. If you give Him the Word of God morning, afternoon, evening, He's going to manifest Himself. He's going to show the power. All the things Jesus Christ is what, what is, all these things are doing, you can do greater. So what other time Jesus did, we, should, so we are supposed to learn it. Jesus at the age of 12 was able to debate, was able to talk about the word of God into deeper detail, deeper revelations at the age of 12. It means that at the age of 12, he, had the, he has gone through the word, he has gone through the scriptures. But a lot of us, we are in the body of Christ, we don't want to go through the scriptures. I'm telling you, the message of this video is simple. Getting your kingdom spouse. It's not about your desire and your will. And a lot of people are in say they are in the body of Christ. But your will is in your hands. It's only difficult for God to use you if you keep holding on to your will. God is able to move, is able to redirect, is able to restructure, is able to prepare you for his use and for his purpose. When you go to his prayer, his altar in prayer, once again, prayer, very important. Prayer will not show up in the absence of the word of God. So if you cannot pray long, it's because the word is not enough inside, your, inside of you. If you come to him in prayer and say, Father, give me a woman after your own heart. And you are not into any relationship. There are many praying this prayer. But you realize that they are flirting here and there. They are in this relationship. They are here hiding with this guy. They are chatting with this person. You have to be completely out. 